Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. Today's card is from Simon Says Stamps new release, Lucky to Know You, featuring the stencil Daisy Bouquet. This pretty spring card is done up in purples and blues. I started this card on an A2 size Bristol Smooth cardstock. Distress Oxide Shaded Lilac was applied to the card. I began inking on one corner of the card and worked up towards the opposite corner. I want the ink to fade out. As I apply the ink, I adjust the pressure. I apply the ink several times until I have a nice ombre appearance. Next I die cut Simon Says Stamps, Spring Blessings and Fresh Daisies. I cut both the sentiment and the flowers out of Nina 110 pound cardstock and fun foam. I dot the top of the fun foam with Tombow glue. These are set aside to dry. The Tombow glue is tacky. This makes stacking the die cuts easy. Lots of time for wiggle room. Next I apply some tacky spray adhesive to the back of the stencil. To stencil this image I will be using Distress Oxide inks, Wilted Violet, Chipped Sapphire and Hero Arts Unicorn White. I use small ink daubers to apply the ink. I use masking tape to protect areas that I'm not working on. The base of all the flower petals are inked with wilted violet. At the tips I apply the white ink. I then go back with the wilted violet and very lightly blend it into the white. I continue in this manner until all of the flower petals are complete. I'm ready to start stenciling both the leaves and the flower centers. For these areas I will be using chip sapphire. For the leaves I begin at the base as I did with the flower petals. Chip sapphire is applied about two-thirds of the way up. The tip of the leaf is finished off using the unicorn white ink. Chip sapphire is applied again but with a very light hand to blend the blue into the white. To ink the flower centers I line up the dauber to the center and press it down. In retrospect I probably should have done the flower centers first. I did have to do a few touch-ups with the purple ink. After the ink was completely dry I attached this panel to an A2 size card base. The stacked die cut sentiment and flowers are attached to the card. That completes this pretty spring card. Thank you so much for visiting.